Hello, this is Carlos Vargas from the Americas Microsoft Architecture and Cloud Team. And this will be a quick overview of Azure Stack. As you can see, we are right there in the portal. So I'm going to log in to the portal with the credentials. I'm not going to go over the setup, but I just want to show you what it looked like and why it's important for us. From a customer standpoint or a service provider, they will have the opportunity that they can bring the power of Azure directly into their data center. If you look here, this will look exactly like Azure. And when we go into providing resources, now a customer or a, a service provider will be able to provide several of the same features that Microsoft provides in their cloud directly in their data center. So as I, I'm showing here, I can come and I can create storage accounts and I'm gonna go through that a little bit later. I can create databases, I can create for SQL or MySQL. I can create VMs. I can then also create websites. And this is just the first release of the platform and they're gonna still be releasing new features. So how will a customer normally will deploy a VM? So let's go through the basics. If I go here to compute, I can add images and I can just put the basic information of it. So I'm going to do test VM2, test user. I'm going to type a password. I can create a new resource group. And a resource group in Azure is just a container where to put information. Now, this is going to give me the options of what sizes do I want to deploy. Uh, these are the basics, but I can go to view all and see all the default, all the different ones that are available. And then it's going to validate my network configuration so I can go into detail configuration, how I want the network configure. I click OK. And I'm done. This went already and is deploying. So as on a cooking show, let me show you what will that look like. If I click here on this IAS VM, I can show you what a VM will look like. And all this is running on commodity hardware. That is what Microsoft wants. So right there, a customer can deploy a VM without no interaction from their IT organization in a couple of clicks. So I hope that you like this video. We're going to have a couple of other videos showing some of the other features. Thank you.